Tesla just dropped new information about the safety of full self-driving. As of today, drivers who use Tesla's autopilot technology are now 10 times safer than regular drivers. With over 1.6 billion cumulative miles driven in supervised FSD, they're now showing only one crash for every 6.88 million miles driven while on Tesla's FSD or autopilot. This is compared to drivers not using a Tesla or this technology who are seeing one crash for every 670,000 miles. So well, FSD full self-driving, of course, is the most important one. And uh, we've been waiting for Tesla to drop more information. It's not um, yet the actual information I want to see, which is, you know, um, actually how much uh, safer, how many miles between intervention uh, for FSD 12.5.1, but it's telling you safety is there, 10 times safer than a human. So let's uh, take a look at that um, report here. So this is um, a Tesla executive, Omiyad Afshar, saying that uh, more than 1.6 billion cumulative miles have been driven with FSD supervised. I think they reported that number at the Q2 earnings report. On vehicle safety, below is the latest update from the past quarter we have just published. So it looks like that in Q2, Tesla recorded one crash for every 6.88 million miles driven in which drivers were using autopilot technology. For drivers who were not using, so this is Tesla, if you're still driving a Tesla but you don't turn on autopilot, whether on highway or city, we recorded one crash for every 1.45 million miles driven. So that is, uh, what is, I don't know, maybe a five times more safer than if you are uh, on a Tesla without that tech. But if you compare this to other cars, if it's not tech and in general as well, they see a normal driver will get a crash every 670,000 miles. So 6.8 million versus 670,000, that's already 10 times safer uh, number. This is the vehicle safety report that they just dropped. Uh, the, you know, Tesla vehicles are engineered to be the safest cars in the world. So there's all sorts of decisions they have to make from the design of their cars to the software we introduce. Um, looks like that, you know, Model S, 3, X, and Y have achieved among the lowest overall probability of injury of any vehicles. Um, it's the rigid fortified structure of the battery pack that's mounted to the car's floor, uh, large crumple zones, unique low center of gravity. Battery packs rarely incur serious damage in accidents. And uh, yeah, what's your thoughts about so this, yeah. yeah, let's have a quick chat about that. So the first thing is we've been saying this for years, you and I and many others, that once you're on full autonomy, uh, even though it's not full, you're still supervising or it's beta or whatever it may have been along the way, it is safer because two minds are better than one and the car has a mind of its own. Uh, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I just realized it sounds terrible, but uh, it is doing your work for you and you are just paying attention to make sure it is doing it correctly. You said, well, you know, that's, oh, but, 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 uh, and then you say, well, wait a minute, if Tesla's actually at 1.4 plus million miles between accidents, even with it turned off, then that just means cars have gotten safer. Well, yes, cars have, but Tesla's are those cars. So when you're looking at the total average, that's already being bumped up by Tesla's amazing numbers. And if you're looking at, uh, well, how, if it's not turned on, how does it do it? You've got good brakes. You've got good tires. You've got forward collision warning. You've got some active safety things where if it sees an accident, it might jam on the brakes for you. Uh, all of those things are going to reduce accidents, good visibility, uh, good, uh, cameras uh, to cover the areas that a human is not naturally good at seeing. There's just a lot of things built into the package so that even if you're that traditional driver who doesn't want to use uh, a autopilot or FSD, you can still make it happen and uh, get get the safety you need. Um, well, my Mercedes has full, you know, has a forward collision warning, all that. Great. Does it? Because uh, I'd like to see those stats and Mercedes is not publishing them. Maybe they don't have the data. Maybe they don't know their actual incident rate, uh, but Tesla does and they publish it. So I don't see any route to legitimately punish the people who are actually gathering and publishing the data uh, while giving a pass to those who probably have the data and will not share it. Yeah, that's a very, very good point. I mean, uh, they don't have that data because they don't have connection. They don't have the information that they're tracking necessarily, but lots of great points you made there, Brian. 
So the, it's basically what the, the part of this report said is uh, active safety features come standard on all Tesla vehicles made after September 2014. If it's a, something to do with safety, they'll do an over the air update, make sure that it's part of it, it's standard. This is the love, the software that can add a layer of safety beyond the physical structure. And then they say, because every Tesla is connected, right? We're able to use the billions of miles of real world data uh, from the global feet, more than 9 billion. And then they can use that to find out all the different ways accidents happen. And then they use over the air software updates to introduce safety features and enhancements, uh, just like you're saying. So this is the report that they showed that the dark blue lines is Tesla vehicles using autopilot technology 6.88. Tesla vehicles who don't use that technology, but they're still Tesla vehicles, they're already safer than the, the United States average down here. So, you know, people say, oh, the biggest complaint is, oh, this is, you know, not really good data because when does Tesla consider an accident? It's within five seconds of an accident. So it, I've it seen was five, but I've also seen 10, but, uh, yeah. is it five? They wrote well, down uh, in the report five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is still, uh, a substantial distance you're traveling, uh, especially at highway speeds. If you're going 70 and it's five seconds, you're going a good, good yeah. distance. All right. Well, okay. We know how bad drivers are. So let's take a look at the DMV news live, um, X account who kind of shares how bad this is from the Howard County Police Department. Let's take a look at this video. Whoa, this is humans. <laughs> this is regular humans at uh, intersections. Oh, uh, oh, I mean, he just, he just ran a red light here. Yeah. Another one. Oh my God. Oh. They're just going to keep going. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I want to show this. I mean, we know how bad humans are, but it's amazing how people keep saying, oh my gosh, autopilot technology, how dare you test that? It's, don't you know how dangerous that is? Uh, dude, humans Distracted are- Distracted meat people are dangerous, deadly. <laughs> They're worse. Ugh. You know what yeah, I mean? And like I that, knew from, yeah, I knew from watching that, that that this was not going to show any actual collisions, but I can't help but feel every single time, oh, uh, uh, that it's going to be a collision. That guy, look, what do you... These are the compilation of near crashes yeah. in Howard County. Of course, there's, well, we know there's a million, one point, what, six million crashes per year in the United States alone, 400,000 deaths. So I just don't understand that people say, how dare you test autopilot? when you have a human supervising it, because this is what we're trying to stop. So um, is Tesla's FSD already safer than a human? Let's take a look. Humans run red lights, Tesla FSD stops for them. Let's take a look at this video. <laughs> FSD stopped, Ooh. that guy Ooh. just kept going. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, it's yellow. It's uh, red. And none of this surprises me. I've driven enough miles to have seen a whole lot of these myself. So this is uh, Elon replying to that, saying FSD will be much safer than humans. Supervised, it already is. We know it is. Uh, yeah. And I'm not doing a whole lot of supervision. Um, it does a lot of really interesting things now. Um, there's still some kinks to work out, but it is, there's, you know, I've, I, it still won't, uh, recognize the no right turn on red. We've got to get that to recognize that sign. Um, but the big change I've seen on 12.5 is the way it handles construction zones. Uh, mm -hmm. last night I had to rush to the hardware store before it closed and there's a whole bunch of goofy construction. And I was like, boy, I don't have time to play games but I'm putting it in auto in FSD because I want to see what it does. And it, it, the lanes were so narrow and so full of cones. And because of the time of day, the cones were look like light bulbs because of the reflective tape. And it didn't see them as cones. It saw them as kind of like round blobs, but it still took me out of the regular lane of travel through the cones flawlessly. And 
These are big steps. Well, that's an easy thing. It should handle that. Right. I agree. But it did. It did handle them. So it's getting there bit by bit. Yeah. Glad that you're testing it now. Let's take a look at what CERN Basher put together. He does fantastic work uh, looking at the details of what we just learned here. CERN Basher said, Tesla's safest, safest vehicles on the planet. Let's take a look. So this is his table, the accident rate, uh, according to Tesla Q2 2024. The national average of 2022, you would get 1.49 accidents per 1 million miles. Um, that's 1.9 accidents for uh, if you live 90 years. Sounds small, but it's a, t a it lot. It is. Yeah. It is small. Yeah, that's incredible. Uh, but then if you are manly driven Tesla, just a regular Tesla alone, it already looks like 50% safer. Just a Tesla. You'll, uh, you know, just because of the, uh, the safety features they put into the car, both software and hardware. But if you are Tesla with autopilot, look at that drop to just 0.2 accidents per nine years. When you look at it in this perspective, it looks like it's solved. Uh, clearly it's not, but it's just, yeah. it really is 1.5 accidents for every 10 million miles. That's where we're at right now. Yes. And uh, it's, yeah, it's, and it's going to get better. I saw a post uh, from Paul Foss from Clean Technica this morning saying, yeah, but it, it looks like it's really flattening out. The amount of money that Tesla's spending on autonomy is is still increasing dramatically while the safety is barely improving. And that's the problem is as you approach perfection, uh, we're, we're approaching light speed. And as you approach light speed, it takes exponentially more energy to get you a little bit faster because each nine from there costs that much more. Maybe that's the point we're at. But we don't have to get all the nines. We're not trying to get all the way to light speed. We're trying to get enough nines that it's indiscernible from light speed. And we're, we're right there now in terms of the end, but that's just in terms of crash. There's all the other little things getting it to go to switch from, uh, arriving at your destination to parking at your destination. That's not a big problem. That's something they'll be able to solve quite quickly. Getting it to understand signs, I don't know how much more difficult that is. I think it can already read the signs. They just haven't implemented it yet. The little things are going to be, yeah, a lot easier to handle than, than everything that's come before it. Getting it to understand the world and interact with it in a comfortable, organic, safe way. Yeah, okay. there's two things we're talking about, right? There's one which is robo taxi, which is okay. I'm gonna not sleep in a car and let the car drive me. It needs to be a lot safer. That's not ready for robo taxi. But we're talking about just buying a Tesla and supervised FSD. Why won't you do that if it's already ten times safer doing that? So even if you never get to robo taxi, but you want a safe car, it says here if you drive a Tesla with autopilot technology, your accident rate drops by eighty percent to only 1.5 accidents per 10 million miles or 0.2 accidents over your lifetime. You got eight cameras, you got an in-cabin camera that's looking at your attention and it'll flag you if you're looking away from your cell phone and all that. You've got the safety features all around the car. In other words, if you don't drive a Tesla with autopilot technology, you're 10 times more likely to have an accident. Uh, why would you take that risk? Why would you put your family at risk, especially now that the cost of a Tesla is on par with or cheaper than many ICE vehicles. So this is what they need to be marketing. This is the safest vehicle on, on earth right now. It's only going to get better from here. And I think the answer is because some people don't think about it that way. Why would you uh, drive drunk or distracted with your family? Um, maybe, maybe people don't like their family. No, I don't think that's it. Yeah. I think it's that, yeah, people... People do irrational things. Very smart people do some very dumb things that if you zoom out and look at it, you go, what, what are you doing, man? That doesn't make any sense. I thought, I thought more of you. Uh, there are, are also companies that make cars now that f have fake shifter noises because I just want my car to feel like a car. Is that really? I had a friend who's, uh, who inherited a bunch of money and wanted a new car and I, and she wanted a convertible. I said, get the hard top Mercedes. That's exactly what you want. Cause she wanted a convertible, but she doesn't like the floppy canvas of a soft top. And she goes, well, I can't get it. It's not available in a stick. I said, you don't need it. What do you need a stick? Well, I need to know it's shifting at the right times. I go, what are you? So she test drove it, loved it, bought it. 
But then I went for a ride with her once and I found that she was still shifting it manually. She was still going through the, I was like, what are you? Okay. Let hey, her if be. That's what makes Let you, her be, dude. If that's what makes you happy. <laughs>